All right, everyone, welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be covering how simplicity is key in trading and why complexity is actually ruining your ability to perform the market. So stay with me to the end of the video because at the end, I'm gonna be covering how you can actually simplify your approach to the market to reach that maximum performance that you're looking for. So one of the common pitfalls that a lot of new traders fall into is that they think that the more they learn in the market, that the more they're actually gonna profit long-term. And that can't be further from the truth, okay? It actually is the opposite. The more you learn, the more you will naturally want to complicate your process and your approach to trading the markets, okay? And the reason for that is because you learn all these new things and you wanna implement them into your trading model or into your trading plan or approach, and it leads to analysis paralysis, okay? Information overload, we've all heard the term. You're trying to use this concept and this concept and this concept all at the same time, and it leads you to overthink, right? And so simplicity is key, all right? And simplicity always wins. And so when you try and implement all these new things in your approach, it's going to lead you to feel insecure in your ability to perform, all right? And I have some notes over here, but it, that results in a loss of confidence, especially when you're analyzing the market real time. And so it's actually gonna cause many people to strategy hop, all right? And we talked about this in the last video of seeing you know, the grass is always greener on the other side, right? And so most people, they can't actually find an approach that works for them because they're too focused on A, learning, which is actually an endless loop in itself. Learning, 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 learning. And in reality, you should be executing, right? You wanna be executing. And so a personal example, when I was learning ICT concepts, I, in the beginning, found great success in just keeping it simple, right? But the more I learned and the more videos I watched, I actually felt like the less I knew. And it felt like I kind of had forgot what it was that I was doing in the first place. So most people are stuck in this endless loop of learning and they want to be really focusing on executing and finding the concepts that resonate with them, okay? And we'll talk about that more at the end. But hindsight, right? Hindsight and learning and backtesting, it's only going to take you so far what you really need to do is go in in a live market environment and get that experience, okay? Because backtesting and, and looking at old data can only take you so far. Okay, so secondly, I wanna go over why simplicity always wins, all right? And so you need to remember, the simpler the approach, the easier it is to execute consistently, all right? So that means less moving parts, and it's gonna allow you for a smoother execution and a smoother analysis as you're going through the charts and watching price action live, all right? So the less moving parts, the better. And you gotta remember, the traders who are consistently crushing the markets, they are blissfully ignorant. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, they're not worried about what little Timmy is doing over here, okay? They're not worried about what's the hot topic on Twitter. They're not worried about what's trending on social media, what's getting the likes, what's getting the views, right? They're consistent in their approach and they block out the noise and they focus on their process and they focus on executing their plan, okay? Now, simplicity, you have to remember, simplicity is the ultimate sophistication because your ability to simplify something that's complex or your ability to keep it simple means that you fully understand that concept or fully understand what it is you're trying to do, okay? You don't need all these different things to be profitable. You only need a handful of concepts to achieve success. So that's the one thing I want you to take away from this video is that you only need a few things to actually find success in the market and find that profitability you're looking for. Less is more, just like in trading, we always say less is more in the charts, the less trades you take, just focusing on those high probabilities of setups, right? Same way with the concepts or same way with analyzing the market. Less is more because it's gonna allow for that smoother execution. And that's why simplicity always wins. And that's why the simpler approach actually is the best approach because it allows you to execute consistently in the market. Now, lastly, how do I actually simplify my approach? Let's say I'm a new trader, okay? And I am super overwhelmed. I don't know where to begin. I feel lost. I have no idea what I'm doing. What piece of advice is what I give myself to simplify my approach. And these are actually things that I've done in the past, okay? And things I still do. It's a constant work in progress for finding my executions and my trading model. 
So what piece of advice could I give myself to keep things simple, dumb things down, and get back to the old ways of being a simple mechanic in the market? Well, solution number one, stop trying to implement new shit, okay? Stop trying to implement new shit into your trading approach, all right? You need to find an approach that matches your personality and that aligns with the type of trader that you want to become, all right? And this is crucial. This is what a lot of people I think are missing in their development, all right? They're trying to implement every single little thing, thinking that the more they learn, the less they'll lose and the more money they'll make, but it's the complete opposite. It's the complete opposite, all right? A personal example. I don't like to swing trade, okay? I just can't do it, all right? I can't sleep at night or relax during the day knowing that I have open positions on in the market. I like to be all cash by the end of the day so I can sleep easy at night, don't have to worry about anything, okay? So I know that I'm not a swing trader. That's just the type of person I am. So I, why would I worry about these concepts that are more for long-term holds, right? Or looking at more of a macro view of the market when really I'm just looking to take a trade during the day and be done for the day or a quick scalp or two and be done for the day. Get my piece of the pie and exit, right? Break faces and bounce, as Conor McGregor would say, right? So why would I care about what all these other swing traders or all these other people are doing, right? If that doesn't align with the type of trader that I want to be? Well, exactly. It doesn't make any sense. So once you have a strategy that you're comfortable with, what I recommend doing is once you find the, the concepts that you are comfortable with, that align with your personality, right? And it could be something as simple as, oh, I like this concept that this guy's talking about over here, but he also talks about this. I'm, I'm gonna forget about that, and I'm just gonna focus on this one thing and try it and see if it works with my strategy. Well, once you find that, and once you find a strategy that somewhat resonates with you as a trader and as an individual, start back testing it to prove that it works, okay? Second, begin refining it, all right? And then streamline your risk management approach around that. Okay. And then thirdly, remain very selective with what you add into your new strategy. All right. Remain very selective at the concepts you choose to implement into your trading once you've found that core strategy. All right. So being selective, it doesn't actually mean that you stop learning. It actually means that you are still going through new content, still learning things, but you're being picky and you're choosing what you are actually implementing into your own trading, right? Because you don't wanna keep adding and adding and adding because then you fall back into that new loop or that endless loop. So you need to start limiting the information you choose to implement into your strategy. And if it resonates and works well with the other concepts you're already using, great, right? Back test it, implement it, and make sure it's something that you can consistently execute on in the long term, right? So I hope this video helped. If it did, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one.